everyone and welcome back to another Sunday Sunshine Show. If you're new here, uh, I'm part of the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. I'm Maria, my channel is Maria Crocker. And there's three other ladies. We've got Tina from Tina's Talk Time, Karen the Geordie Grandma and Marie Busy Bee Marie. And we get together every Sunday morning, 7.30 UK time to bring you the Sunday Sunshine Show. We have a different topic every week. So I'm making a cheesecake. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a baker. Uh, I'm having a go at making things now and again. And I thought, wow, that sounds nice and easy. And I thought strawberries, put some strawberries on top. It's uh, Wimbledon. And today the sun's shining. So today is Thursday, as this goes live on Sunday. So yeah, watch me make my cheesecake. So I've already softened in here some of these Otis, I got these in Aldi, just picked up these in Aldi, you can use any type biscuits and what I've done, so I had two packets, so we had half a packet left and a few from this one, I've just put them in here and because I don't have a, a big electric mixer or you know, um, or what are they called, processor to chop them up for me, I just dampen them with a little bit of warm water and leave them to soften and they soften quite nicely. So what I'm going to do with my spoon is I've just melted some butter. So this is just, these are just melted with a little bit of warm water on them and left. So it softens them all up. So then I've just melted some butter in the microwave. Okay, so just some butter, just enough to put in here and to set it all together. So this is going to be the biscuit base. So I'm just going to stir that melted butter in. It's so hard getting the camera in the right position so you can see it. Yes, so that's all nicely melted. It's all nice and soft. England done well, didn't they? So they're playing a game, well, when you're seeing this, it'll be tonight. So good luck, boys, tonight. I'm not really into football, but I do support the England games. I do watch England games. Probably because the rest of the family do, so I have no choices on. So, but yeah, I didn't have enjoyed it. Yeah, so that's all nicely melted there and um, all blended in. So I have a baking tin here. I'm just using this large cake tin and you can use a, you know, a Victoria sandwich tin, anything like that. And I've lined it with some greaser paper. Um, mine's got a loose bottom. And what I find I can do, anything to make it easier, is I take the loose bottom out, just put a sheet of piece of paper on the bottom, and then undo the clip, clip it back in, and then I can just cut off around the outside, so it's going to draw around it and that. So, and I've just greased some paper on the sides as well, just to make it easier to get out. So what I'm going to do is put this in here. So I'm to all the mixture in here and then I'm just going to spread it out. Okay, so just spread it along the bottom so it nicely covers the bottom. And if you use more mixture, you can get it to go up the sides and that as well if you want to, which can look very pretty. But this is going to be a nice thick crunchy base my cheesecake. So I just smooth that round. So it's all nice and even. Make sure it's all nice and level. And it all goes to the sides. As I said, I'm not a baker, so you're, you're probably saying, oh, you could do this, do that, give me lots of tips. So, which I'm happy for you to do. <laughs> Anything that makes life easier, please let me know. So I thought this sounds quite a simple recipe to do. So what I've done, spread it all round. That all looks all nice and flat, no bubbles in it or anything. So what I can do now, there we go. Is put that in the freezer and let that go nice and hard. So I'm just going to see if I get it in the freezer there. 
so I will leave that there for a minute and uh, what I need to do now is wash this bowl out and then we can start mixing the actual cheesecake ingredients so I'll be back in two seconds okay so I've washed my bowl out because I live in a park home when we moved we've been here since September I had to be very minimalistic so um yeah I've only got one large bowl I've got a couple of smaller you know the little pyrex ones and that so that's why I had to wash this one out because obviously we haven't got so much storage as you've probably got in your house or what we had before in our other house so I only kept the things that I really needed so what I'm going to use next I've got four of these soft cheeses again I picked these up in Aldi so this is for our ingredients to make the actual cheesecake itself so I have washed my hands okay I did that before the start so I'm going to put all this cream cheese into the bowl okay so this is going to be my last treat I will have some of this um, because from next Sunday we're all doing a and then what's it called now? Diet Refresh? I think it's Diet Refresh we're calling it. Uh, but yeah, we're all going to do a four week refresh program. So I'm going to be trying to be really good. So after today, I'm going to be really good and I'll probably do. I'm thinking I might do the slimming board again because that works for me and I know that plan quite well so because I have loads of weight as I've told you before and I do feel uncomfortable and uh, yeah not really pleased myself so I'm quite quite glad that um, we come up with this idea so um, I think well not everybody but um, I know Tina's feeling a bit like me uh, you get off track and uh, it takes some like this to sort of kickstart you sort of you know back in you know getting on plan doesn't it so yeah so i'm looking forward to doing that i think we just do it for four weeks at the moment so that would give me time to hopefully lose a bit of weight my whole day because i think it's five weeks is it five weeks to we go oh actually no i think it's four weeks on monday so yeah so whatever i can lose it's gonna make me feel better on my holiday isn't it but I am going to have a slice of this if it turns out all right. I'm not going to miss out on this. Okay. So in here, I've got the four tubs of cream cheese. So I'm just going to give that a little mix. You can use your mixer if you want to. Okay. Um, which I might do actually in a minute. I've got a hand mixer. Um, but in here as well, you're going to put, this is just a small have a double cream I'm going to put half of that in and a couple of tablespoons of creme fraiche so I'm just going to put two big dots of that in Ooh, it's not sticking everywhere let's pop those back into the fridge I'm sure I can find a use for those later on let's get rid of this rubbish in a minute and then I'll I think I will put the mixer on so it's, I know it's all blended really well together. Do you know what? Is it just me or you the same? I can't have biscuits in the house. There's something about biscuits. I picked up two packets of these yesterday. And I was really good all day, and then come the evening, I was watching the football, and I had um, two gin and tonics, which is nice. Whether it was that made me feel hungry. And then I had, after the match, I had a cup of coffee, and I thought, oh, I'll, have, I'll just have one biscuit. I had ten. I had ten biscuits. <gasps> what a pig! What a pig! And, and, you know, what am I doing to myself? So, I'm not buying any more biscuits. I am not buying any more biscuits. I say they're for the grandkids, but yeah, I think I tend to eat more of them than they do, so no, I'll buy them some other treats that I don't like. Okay, so I'm gonna put my, oh, 
I nearly forgot we've got to squirt some lemon in it as well. So a nice big squeeze of lemon juice. I nearly forgot that one. So I'm just going to plug my mixer in. So I say it's just a hand mixer. Oh, 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 somebody left it switched on. Um, okay, God, that could be nasty, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to plug in my hand mixer. Right, hopefully this isn't going to be too noisy. Let's dump it into the floor. So all I'm doing is whisking it all together so you can get it nice and nice and lovely. Make sure that nice lemon juice gets evenly distributed. My favourite cheesecake, you might have loved all your haters, don't you? I know my daughter Beck is not a cheesecake fan. I love cheesecake. I'm just gonna with the whisk pull this off the side to make sure that it all gets really mixed in now. recipe you don't have to put any gelatine or anything. Let's have a little taste. Oh. Mm, that's nice. See so what I do. Okay. So let's just wipe my hands. Right, so what we need to do now is wait for the um, base to set so it's in the freezer uh, and then hopefully we can start putting it together be done from the cooker there i'm a real messy pep i am i think that's what puts milk back in is the clearing up after so let me get my cup of tea. Or coffee, shall I say? Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Right, let me see. It hasn't been in a very long, has it? Probably going to need a bit longer. Yeah. I'm going to leave that a bit longer. So I will return to the camera in a minute. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera off now and I'll come back on when the base is nice and set. Okay, so uh, I've got the base out of the freezer now. It's only been in about 20 minutes and uh, hopefully it's set enough to start putting our mixture in. So in it goes. I'm just donking it in. I think the cream cheese that I'll do is 80 something pay. I can't remember what the, the cream and the um, crème fraîche was. Uh, the biscuits were under a pound, I think. I'm going to look at roughly how much it's costing. So just spread the cheesecake mix all over the base to the edges. Make sure there's no air locks. Okay, Make it look nice and pretty. Mm. Let's get that off. 
from there. It's just a bit wide to go, a bit long to go in here actually. I can do better with this. Get it all nice and even. as I can. A bit, a bit higher in the middle. Okay, I think that's good enough. That's good enough for me anyway. And then I have some strawberries. So I'm just going to wash these strawberries and then slice them up. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I've washed my strawberries. I think I'll put a big one in the middle there. And then <clears throat> what I was thinking, actually perhaps I've got a couple of big ones in the middle. What do you think? I'm not very artistic either, you can see. <laughs> I left the green stalk on that one. So I thought that might look quite pretty, but then I've cut it off all the others. So, um, Let's have a look. Oh, well, I've just washed them. You'll see the, the red dye. Perhaps I'll have to take that one off to match. Let's chop that one off. Yeah, so what I've done is in this bag here, I've got some more biscuits. Um, all I'm, Becky's bar my rolling pins. So I've got this can of beans. The biscuits in the bag, <coughs> and I'm just going to crush them. Okay, so I'm just bashing them down. I thought I could put some biscuit crumbs around the outside. So I say, if you've got a plastic bag of rolling pin, you can roll them, but a can of beans works just fine for me. <laughs> I have got a rolling pin, but Becky borrowed it some time ago and thinks I can't find it. I should have think she's still got it. That's the thing about children, isn't it? They borrow things and then you have to remember to ask for it back. Okay, so spoon. It's a bit of a rough crumble, but I think it's not just done that. Let's give it another chop. There's a few lumpy bits in there, so let's go down a bit finer. If I could sing, I'd sing to you now. <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> Right, I think that's going to be it. Right, let's have a look. I don't know if you can see, not probably very well, but that's not too bad. So what I'm going to do now is try and sprinkle just a little edge of biscuit crumbs. Just very lightly round the outside. It's amazing how you can improvise with stuff, isn't it? You don't have to have all these lovely gadgets. If I had the kitchen space, I had a reasonable size kitchen in my other house, but I didn't then even have all the big blenders and, um, you know, um, what are they called? You know, I, I love the big old-fashioned mixers in the bowl, and I've never had any of that. I never really needed it to, I suppose, because I'm not really a baker. So, yeah, it's having somewhere to keep it, isn't it? Yeah, I think that looks a bit more on this side. Plus, by doing this, it's going to stop me eating the rest of the packet. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that looks quite pretty. Um, if I had a couple of mint leaves or something, I'd put them in the middle as well. But yeah. So I'm going to pop this in the fridge. Now. And I'm going to leave that for an hour or so to set. And then I'm going to have a go taking the outer coat off so you can see it properly. So I'll see you again in a minute. Well, in an hour. <laughs> yeah. So that's my finished cheesecake. Um, I think I left it an hour, but I think I would have left it a bit longer. Uh, just to make sure that uh, the sides would have been a bit more firmer before I took it off. What I might do is put the case back on just to support it and put it back in the fridge. So yeah, I'll let you know what it tastes like. If you want a sweeter cheesecake, you can mix some icing sugar, a little bit of icing sugar into the mix if you don't like it too tangy. I quite like it tangy tangy because I get the sweetness from the biscuit base and the biscuits on the top of the strawberries but if you did want it a bit sweeter you can just stir in sort of just a tablespoonful of icing sugar and that'll make it nice and sweet so I'm going to pop the case back on and put it back in the fridge yeah so I put the case back on it so I put the case back on I'm going to put it in the fridge and then um, it'll probably be it'll probably have a size of this this evening if not tomorrow and I'll let you know what it tastes like so yeah, there wasn't too much washing up to do. So I'll put that back in. There's only the mixing bowl and the, the, the spatulas and that, so it wasn't too much mess. So that's always a good thing, isn't it? So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to shut the door. My husband's doing some uh, garden work. Yeah, a second. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a look at the other housewives. So you've got Tina from Tina's Talk Time, Karen, the Geordie Grandma, and Marie, Busy Bee Marie. And see what they're doing. They're all going to be some, doing something completely different. I don't know what they're doing. So I'm going to hop over to their channels um, on Sunday morning at 7.30 and watch them. And uh, hopefully you will too. So thank you everyone. If you do like our videos, please give them a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed because it helps us all out a lot it really does so i'll see you hopefully in the next one bye everyone bye